Hey, it's Sol with your little tips and reminders for this week in Warcraft. You can help support the channel by liking the video, subscribing for more WoW coverage, and if you stay until the end, Bob's got a new beat to drop, listen and watch at your own risk. Hallow's End starts this coming Wednesday in the usual two-week event of frustration after still not getting the Headless Horseman's Mount. Unlike the Brewfest event, we know a little bit more of what's going on with this holiday update thanks to the event being testable on the PTR a few months back. So here's what's going on. The biggest update is that the Headless Horseman encounter has been revamped, complete with new drops, encounter mechanics, and achievements. We'll get to that in a bit. There's also a new quest line to intro you to the story of why and how these changes came about. They start over in your faction's capital city. You can find the quest just outside of Stormwind Gates and outside Gromash Hold. There are a bunch of additional candy buckets to pick up over in the Dragon Isles, which will be a great help to get cosmetics from vendors, thanks to how fast he can zip around with dragon riding. So definitely start your candy gathering here. Now let's go back to the Headless Horseman encounter. Getting into it via Q should follow the same rules as the likes of the Crown Chemical or the Corrin Dire Brew encounters. It's been totally redone to be two kinds of fights. Now one is very straightforward, with mechanics to like spread out for and avoid, you got eh, circles and breaths and some adds, that sort of thing. And if that's all the fight that you want, cool, stand around, tank, heal, or pump your way to victory. But now there's also a series of handicaps you can apply to yourself to make these mechanics a lot more interesting. When you enter the dungeon, there are four wicker men that you can click on that will each enhance one of the four boss abilities. The danger from these modified abilities lies with this debuff, Wicker Man's Shadow, that reduces your maximum health by 10% per stack. From the looks of it, it persists throughout the encounter, so while these abilities might not outright kill you, the debuff makes them not trivial at all to the point where you might get one shot. These modified abilities don't mess around either, requiring extra movement, defeating extra mobs, and dodging more stuff. What's important though is that this is an individual and personal handicap that doesn't affect others' gameplay except for maybe the healer because now they're wondering like why are you suddenly losing half your life getting hit with, you know, something. So my general advice is to go ham on the DPS, pop everything you got, do your best to avoid the mechanics and kill the boss before you die from attrition. As for new stuff you get from the encounter, there's a chance at veteran level gear and a dragon riding appearance for the Velocidrake dragon riding mount. Completing the encounter with all four enhanced abilities active counts towards a hard mode achievement, kicking it with the wick. I'm not sure if it gets you anything else, like a increased drop chance of the original mount or the dragon riding appearance, but I say give it a try for the fun and glory of it all. It doesn't seem like you can only try for that achievement once per day either, just you know, keep going until you get it. I'd go as far as to suggest that you activate hard mode and then spend time only avoiding mechanics that'll get you killed while the rest of the team who hopefully isn't doing this on hard mode just smashes the boss. If you got friends, you can coordinate this with two even better, but I don't imagine this to feel like cutting edge content either, you know, just try to have fun. And there's more this week too. The Turbulent Timeways event continues and this time we're getting bounced to the Mist of Pandaria era. Characters as low as level 35 can take part and contribute to the mastery of Timeways achievement. Now this will mark the fourth week of the event. Double check that you're caught up and if it turns out you missed a week, uh, well, social media is just a few clicks away. South Shore vs. Terran Mill is the brawl for this week and over in Mythic Plus World, the affixes are Fortified, Afflicted, and Raging, which should be a push week. Classes who are capable of cleansing should have their fingers at the ready, while the rest of us are like, woohoo, there's like nothing to worry about. Until you're in a group of like, all rogues, but then I'd be blaming the person who's putting the group together in the first place. There's a non-zero chance that patch 10.2 is going to drop this coming November 7th, so there's only a few weeks left maybe to push keys and get achievements. Next week's tyrannical week might be the last for all we know, so do try and get to your goals sooner than later. For the rest of us, we can sort of relax as we get closer to the patch, and even then, progressing through it is going to be fairly straightforward based on all the testing that I've done so far. Folks who want to fly as soon as possible will have an interesting and maybe powerful farming routine. When I've verified all the information, I'll be sure to share how to access a regular flying maybe on the first week of the patch, so stay tuned. And if you don't mind, like the video, subscribe for more coverage, catch me live on Twitch, and I hope to catch you later. Here's Bob's new debut. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Hey, love, it's a new month. Come and join me. We're gonna do collecties. Cause tender is my breakfast. Tender's what I breathe. Tender is the loot I collect from the corpses. Tender's running through my veins. Tender's both my pleasure and pain. 
It's like coffee, tenders in my cup. Suddenly it's not cause I bought things. Check me on my badass broomstick mount. Got my tendo, then your mama can count on.